All right, so Pokemon has her name attached to some new drama. Now, Pokemon does not go into a whole lot of detail about the situation, but I will do my best um, to connect the dots for you because she doesn't want to identify the man. Um, because I, I guess she assumes that identifying the man will help some people connect the dots on who the women are. And she just wants to protect our, their identity. Uh, but anyway, Pokemon has a business relationship with this higher up. Again, she doesn't specify. Um, I don't know if this guy works for Twitch. I don't know if he's a CEO of a gaming company. We don't know. She doesn't specify. Uh, but either way, she has a business relationship with this gentleman. So, of course, they text or they email uh, quite often in terms of business. And she had at some point built pretty much a trust with this guy over this business relationship so fast forward this guy then starts to alter their messages to make it seem like he and pokemon have some form of business relation i mean have some type of relationship like they're some type of intimate sexual relationship and what this man would do is he would then go and prey on women in pokemon's community now again we don't know if he's messaging them through twitch instagram discord whatever the case may be Whatever it is, he's messaging these women, showing them these text messages and making it seem like he has some type of ties to Pokemon, a Pokemon on an intimate relationship. Um, and what he will also do is leak sensitive information. Like if, for example, Pokemon will get some type of endorsement or some type of partnership with a company, he will re uh, he will release the information as uh, showing like what she got paid or whatever the case may be and show it to these women as if it's like, hey, I have so much pull, I have so much power that I got Pokemon this deal with Gatorade and they paid her $300,000. So anyway, um, after a certain amount of time of messaging these women, showing these text messages, showing all of these different things, he would eventually get to a point where he would try to um, get pictures from these women, try to get some type of sexual favors from these women. And it even went as far as him flying these women out um, <clears throat> and having sexual relations with them, uh, presumably. Now, I know what you're thinking. What, what was this guy's goal and why were these women allowing this to happen or why were these women letting this happen? Whatever the case may be, because you know how people like the victim blame. Uh, my only assumption is that these women were maybe aspiring streamers, uh, aspiring game developers. Again, we don't know what this guy's title is. And he would prey on the fact that these women were fans um, or um, people that really love Pokemon and that he would prey on that by making it seem like he had a relationship with these women and then making it seem like he had all of this power so that these women would basically just have sex with him or have sexual relationships with him. Um, so in any case, at the very minimum, this is very predatory. It's very creepy. It's very um, abusive of your power to basically prey on these women's wants and desires and basically fake and basically getting them to put themselves in compromising positions for your own selfish goals and very much creepy goals. So, of course, how this affect Pokemon as well, of course, people on a lamest term in a very simple statement this guy is basically lying on his penis and making it seem like he has these relations with pokemane tarnishing her name um and of course using that to again prey on how many know you know countless numbers of women we don't know how many women he's done this to um we just know that this is happening immediately right now in pokemane's community so of course this is some again really creepy news pokemane went on her twitter to uh address it um she seemed very disturbed very um very upset about it and naturally as she should be of course she's already just coming off of this deep fake um issue that she was dealing with with one of her friends who was watching deep deep fake uh porn of her so of course this has really just been a kind of like a rough couple of months for her because she seems to be if not and it's nothing to be proud of but she seems to be one of the most sexualized streamers in the in the gaming community right now it just seems like every chance people get to try to sexualize her or make her out to look a certain way they take it and so i really feel for pokemon um and i'm, I'm hoping that this can the situation well i'm glad the situation got resolved quickly because a uh, According to this, or at the time of this video, this guy has already been fired. Um, so I want to know what you guys' thoughts is on this, um, and let me know if I didn't, if I explained this pretty well. I hope that I did, because again, there's a lot of information that she left out. Um, but I will definitely see you guys in the next video.